All right, hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I am so excited. I am doing my very first live stream for St. Jude's. And I just, this is one of those charities that they do everything right. All of the money goes into the research, into the supporting the hospital, into supporting the families, into supporting the kids. So I am 100% behind doing any kind of fundraising I can possibly do for St. Jude's. So I am part of team hashtag derp squad and this is a play live event. You can do play lives on YouTube and on Twitter and people even do it live in person. Hello, Law, Law for Dreams. And hey, Chrissy Art, I see you there still. That's awesome. I am trying to get sort of organized here because my co-host is not here today. He is at work. <laughs> so if you can bear with me for half a second here, I'm going to slide this over and slide this down so I can see the... Aha! My co-host is... Uh, remote right now. Hey, Mark. <laughs> nice to see you. So I am going to be doing some shrinky dinks and some doodling and just having a good time. If you guys could go out and spread the word, say, hey, Stephanie's live on Deliberately Creative right now, I would really appreciate it. I am hoping to raise a hundred dollars tonight. I'm already at thirty dollars and that is so exciting. So I am really looking forward to hitting a hundred dollars. There are incentives and if you click on that donation button there's some little rewards. These are not huge. I made some stickers and the same sticker image is being used to make magnets and these are three inch by three inch and I did not grab one before I came in here. So you'll just have to look at the image on the donation page. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I want to share a little bit right up here at the front about St. Jude's and why St. Jude's. They even say why St. Jude's. So they have 24 partner sites in 17 countries. They freely, now this is everything they do basically is open source. If they come up with a way to treat something, if they come up, good evening Nelson, nice to see you. If they come up with a way to treat some disease or some condition, they freely share that information and they don't charge anybody that for that information. So people can get well. They are actually the center that creates most of the flu vaccine. Uh, as the flu vac flus are coming down the line, they're actually at the forefront of creating the new flu vaccines every year and sharing that free to the public. Anytime a child is cured, that information helps them at St. Jude's become a better prepared to save another child. When they started, 20% of the children survived cancer. After they started working on this, over 80% of the children, hello Marcy, over 80% of the children that are in the hospital system through St. Jude's are surviving and living and thriving. And no family has ever paid for any care. And this is 24 hours, seven days a week. Some of these kids are there for years. They've never paid a penny and neither of their families. So I'm really, really hoping that you guys will be interested and I'm going to drop that link. Come on, drop the link. There we go. So drop the link and away we go. The link is down below in the more information box. And there is, um, 
you know, some basic information down there. Make sure that you click that link and go share a little bit of your heart. One of the things I wanted you to know, I, because I have a list right here on my phone, and on my phone, it says that even a $1 donation makes a huge difference. $1 would provide diapers for an infant. They treat children that are just months old threaten with threatening diseases like cancer. Pediatric isolation gowns, $1 will keep a kid safe from germs. Um, the, these gowns help protect young patients who are comp compromised with their immune systems. Bandages, the ones that they use for when the kids are healing after surgeries, so important. That's just $1. $2 donations, ACE bandages, IV bags, a $3 donation, the uh, Central Line Dressing Change Kits, that's for chemotherapy, amazing. $3 is all it takes. $5, toddler diapers, thermometers, because these kids, they cannot get sick and they have to keep on top of it. Thank you so much, Billy, for coming in. You're not late. You're not late. I just got started. So happy you're here. And Mark, I'm glad that you like that sloth. A <laughs> $100 donation. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped. A $10 donation. A $10 donation. Blank medical teaching dolls. The dolls are used to help patients understand what medical treatments are going to happen to them. They do it to a doll so then the, the patient won't be as afraid. I think that's amazing. $10 takes care of that. So that's enough of my spiel for now. I am really excited. I have some Shrinky Dink projects. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my deck here just a little bit. So I was playing last night and I wanted to see what a seven inch by nine inch piece of shrink plastic. Let me see here. Now I have to get myself organized. <laughs> I don't have my, my Vanna White here. I don't have my, my, he can't, he's not here to be able to hand me my stuff. Thank you so much, Billy. It is a lot of great people doing amazing things to help the kids. St. Jude's, they are such a blessing to so many families. And I'm very thankful that I have not had to have any of my family in a situation where we would need that type of care. But oh my gosh, it's amazing that that type of care is available. So now I'm, now I'm zoomed in, I need to zoom out. <laughs> this is an eight by 10 sheet. Okay. And this is when I trimmed off one inch off of one edge and one inch off of the other and made a seven by nine, that's the size that it shrunk down to. Hey, alien. Nice to see it. See you. Nice to see it. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Nelson. I appreciate anything you can do. And you know, guys, you don't have to donate. Getting the word out, sharing the links, making sure that people understand that St. Jude's, they are there to help the families. They are there to help the kids. And they are to, there to help everyone. Because by helping the kids, they're coming up with new discoveries that are helping everyone in the world. It's amazing. It is so amazing. So, Shrinky Dinks, that big shrunk down this big. <laughs> I think that's just so cool. And let's see here. When I did the goldfish, look at that. That goldfish was done from that pattern. So I have a question. What do you guys want to see me do? Do you want me to just do a, I've got butterflies, I've got moths, maybe a moth. I've had some people asking for like an atlas moth or something like that. Thanks, Billy. I appreciate the hearts. Those make a big difference. Those make a big difference. 
please make sure and share this out there with your friends. And, um, you know, and if you're not a subscriber of the channel already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. You know, help my channel out too. Helps me to help other people do things. And I'm so excited. So, guys, fish, butterflies, or moths? Or do you want to see me? <laughs> do you want to see me try and get a full-size sheet of <laughs> shrink plastic again? This took a long time to shrink something that big, though. So, I love butterflies. I love moths. I haven't done a moth a moth yet. Uh, alien koi. Of course, you're ready for a fish. You know, I might stay on here long enough to do both moth and fish. So why don't we start with the moth? Oh, but I wanted to show you guys real quick. Look at this neat necklace that I did. Whoops, now I can go ahead and zoom in again. Look at that necklace. This was drawn with a Sharpie on one side and it was colored on the other side. Hi, Kathy. You remember watching the telethon with Danny Thomas when you were a kid? I remember that too. You know what? I do have an owl. Let's see. I have to go through my go through my books real quick and see which one it Did I have an owl in that one? Did I pass an owl? Ooh. I do have sharks. I have an octopus. That would be kind of fun. Shells. Is that kind of an octopus? See, I've got all kinds of different, uh, flip, flip, flip. Oh, I've got lots of little owls that I can make bigger. How's that? <laughs> the necklace looks like it belongs with the raven. Yes, yes, it does kind of, doesn't it? Um, ravens or crows. And I liked that it was um, two pieces. Now that circle that's there, that was from this punch. That's how big that circle was. The inner circle was this punch right here. Oh, get back here, you. Get back here, you. So just like that, that inner circle right there, that was punched from here. <laughs> Hey, Angela, I hope you don't mind. I made you a moderator because I didn't know if Mark was going to be back. <laughs> and you were the first one in the room. So if you don't want to be a moderator, I can take it off and find somebody else who wants to do it. But I don't really think we're going to need a moderator. But just in case, just have somebody there. So I've got kitty cat. I've got owls. Maybe an owl like this. But I think first I'm going to do a moth. And then I will do an owl and a fish. So I have my my ideas. And I just dropped my, my box on the floor. Just a moment. Please forgive my... I need to pick up the box. Unfortunately, it just... Ugh, there. I just don't want to turn around and step in a pile of corn chips. Okay, so I need to figure out which way I'm going. I'm going this way. There. So that way I can show my wonderful St. Jude's cape. Actually, it's Mark's St. Jude's cape because I couldn't find my envelope. So I stole all of my husband's goodies to have on the on the screen here. Let's see. Oh yeah. They sent us. And I have all of these pins and buttons and stuff in mine too. You're going to go to sleep. All right. That's okay, Angela. I'll I'll pop you off. It is about 50%, maybe 60% on the shrinkage. So Let's see here. I, ooh. Let's see. I'm trying to find Miss Angela here so I can 
remove her from moderator so she doesn't have that on her so she's not getting kabinged and mark is here for right now so i'll just i'll just go with it so i'm just gonna slide all this stuff over to the side and yes it's about well this piece ended up on the seven inch on the seven inch side it ended up being two and three quarters inches and on the nine inch it went down to three and a half so it shrunk differently north and south than to east and west but I am going to grab my let's see do we want the moth with the bigger fuzzier body or the moth with the little uh, feathery type antennas which one I will let you guys choose I have two moths on this page and these are gonna be fantasy moths because I don't have a picture of a moth in front of me. I guess I could pull up a picture out of a moth and see what we get. But uh, this one right here. Okay, so that's the one I'm going to do. Oh, absolutely, Nelson. Your artwork is amazing. Love it. All right, so I'm just going to quickly, hopefully, quickly go to Pinterest, except that I've got Pinterest on here, so I can just go to Pinterest and bring up a moth. Moth. Search. Illustration. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. Okay, so this is a um, an illustration from a um, a plate from an antique book. So I think that one's actually public domain. So which way do I want to go? Do I want to go more towards the yellows and golds, or the uh, browns and bronzes with maybe sort of a blacky blue in the center? What was that, Chrissy? I don't know what you're saying there. Wow, almost 70% on that. Yep, yep. It might be the coloring. I don't know. The interesting stuff. The bottom one, doing this one right here. I can do that one. I have all those colors. Oh, you say yellow. Oh, boy. So now I've got a 50-50 Okay, I've got two for browns and bronze and blues, which is this one. Gold. Ha! Ah, Mark, you're not helping. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Art Sherpa is amazing. I love her to pieces. We get a lot. Brown, bronze, this one down here. I think that's where I'm leaning. I might put this edge out here, might get a little bit more gold so that we can pull a little bit of those colors in. I think that would work. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. Okay, I like that idea. Doesn't matter. I think I will just go forth and do. I need to zoom out just a little bit. There. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this sheet in half. Either one is great. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. This is so interesting doing one of these on my own because I'm trying to stay on top of the, um, the chat, you know, st staying focused on you guys, but then also see if I can get some artwork done. <laughs> It's, it's kind of exciting. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Just art it. That's, that's, that's happy. I, I like that. So I am going to flip this over and you see how one side is shiny and one side is matte. 
I'm going to flip it over to the shiny side up first and I am going to take my Sharpie pen and I'm sorry about the glare, but it, I'll be flipping it over and coloring it from the other side. So that way it has really nice sharp lines and they don't get, um, they don't get rubbed out, which is sometimes what happens. So it is like drawing on a piece of glass almost. So it's slippery. But once you've got a pattern, you can keep doing it over and over and getting better and better at it. It's, it's really, it's a lot of fun to do, to do these kinds of things. All right. So I don't have, now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over and have the antennas touch the, the wing so I don't have to, so I don't have to draw, um, take the scissors in around that inside bit because that would be a real, mm, let's say that would make me distracted. I would be distracted. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some of these heavier lines in just with the black because it will give me like doing a coloring book. Okay, I'm quiet for a bit. Shrinking chat. I love glass art. I've been looking for a good video for this. Aha! This is, this is a lot of fun and it's very relaxing because really it is a lot like coloring in a coloring book. Once you've got your image transferred onto the plastic. So, and you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be um, exact on all of your lines. You can have a little bit of a wobble in your hand. It's, it's really, it's very nice to be able to do that because you don't have to have perfect control. Uh, we have a lot of people in our community that have um, strength issues in their hands or in their arms. And some people have issues with arthritis. I've got, I actually have arthritis in my uh, thumb here. And that's kind of, um, hey, Sandy, thank you, Sandy, for the $5 donation. Awesome. So I am really very um, aware of when things can hurt your hands when you're doing it, because if you're holding a pencil too long, it can hurt. If you're holding a pen too hard, it can hurt. So just be aware and be careful. You know, and remember, we're doing this for St. Jude's and the children. And I am so excited to get to do this. Now, um, Trade Chat on, uh, she's a, a really big gamer on WoW, on World of Warcraft. And I am not a gamer. I don't mind, I actually, I like watching people play games, but I'm not really, uh, I'm not somebody who wants to sit and play the games because I wanna do my artwork. <laughs> so I, um, I am very, very impressed by Trade Chat. She is, amazing in her fundraising and team derp squad is under her umbrella as a fundraiser she she raises amazing amounts of money and the money that i raise is going to be going on to the team derp squad 
um, count. So I would love to raise way more than $100, but $100 is what I would like to do. She used to watch, yes, I used to watch Mark play all the time. Back when we had the Casio ColecoVision. It was ColecoVision. I remember that. That was, that was years ago. And then there was the, the computer games that I would sit and watch you play as I was doing other things. So I'm just putting this in. Frisbee golf, that's excellent because that gets you out into the fresh air and moving around. There's actually a lot of gamers that go out and play Frisbee golf which I think is cool because, you know, getting out into the fresh air and getting exercise, flinging that, that weighted Frisbee, those things can be, those things can be wicked. We have several Frisbee golf parks around our um, general area. A lot of the campgrounds that we go to actually have Frisbee golf. I'm just going to make those go long. Now, if I go over the lines, it's no big deal because I'm going to be trimming this out. And another reason why it's not a big deal is that your mistakes, the things that you see really big here, are going to shrink down. They're going to get very small. All right. So there, I have it transferred. Hey, you're moving your you're moving that wheelchair around. That is exercise. That is exercise. You know, you're out in the fresh air. You're having to fling that frisbee. It's exercise. <laughs> so I have now flipped this over, so it's not so glary in our faces anymore. Mm, but I see a line that I want to. I just want to make this line right here kind of match up a little bit. Not perfect, but just sort of. And I think what I'm going to use for this one is going to be, doo -doo 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 -doo, I think, see, I have a lot of colored pencils and it's, it's kind of an addiction. Yes, Mark loves the Wii Sports. Oh, how does this actually shrink? I use a... I just use a craft it heat tool, a crafting heat tool, and I just heat it up after it's cut out, and it will shrink down, and, you know, and then you can shape it while it's still warm. There's that. See, that's going to shrink down to about this much. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I just have to remember to pop the holes in it so that it can be hung. I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way. I have a set of Soho colored pencils right here. There we go. Soho Urban Artists. These are Jerry's Artorama. So that's, that's pretty cool. You know, I, now this, this tray is more of those colors that I would use for, um, accents on this, on this particular butterfly, particular moth. These colors right here, the more, um, earthy tones are the ones I'm going to be using on the moth itself. So now there's a magnet on the back of my phone and it just picked up the necklace. <laughs> so, okay. So looking at this, I am looking at, let's see, alizarin crimson, because I see that here in the body. Um, maybe some Venetian red. And, uh, oh, what is this paper? This is Shrinky Dinks. 
It is a plastic sheet. This is called, um, this was a frosted rough and ready. And it's actually a, a kid's art supply. But it, um, you can get it in different, you can get different brands. So I haven't tried this one yet. This is called Shrink Film by Graphics. And this just has six sheets, but it's um, eight and a half by 11. And these are eight by 10 for the Shrinky Dinks. So now something else you can use. If you've got, and I haven't tried it, I don't guarantee. Um, do I prefer these over Prismacolor? No. And it doesn't matter what color pencils you use. You can use Crayola. I have my cup of Crayolas right here. I love my Crayola color pencils. I use them all the time. So, and I might even use those on something, something tonight. I've got Crayolas. I've got um, Prismacolors, the Sohos. There's uh, even a little, a little cup of the Tombow Irigitan. So, you know, there's, that's a Prismacolor. That doesn't go in there. <laughs> so we've got choices. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the uh, English Red, Venetian Red, Alizarin Crimson. I want the Naples Yellow. And let's see. It's Indian Yellow. I don't know that I want Indian Yellow. I think I might want an orange, though. So I think I'm going to take Cadmium Orange. It's a very, a very earthy, um, there's a, uh, lamp, lamp black, which is more of a gray black. And I've got permanent white because that's the white they have here. And trying to see what other colors, what other colors? I think maybe something that's a little bit more brown toned. Now, one of the things with these colored pencils is that the colors on the paint are not <laughs> the colors of the um, pencil, but the color on the name is pretty close. So sanguine is sanguine and it's kind of a brownie red tone. And I think Let's see, what's that? That's warm gray. Well, maybe some warm gray. I think that's enough pencils to get us going. I'm going to get this out of my way because it's in my way. <laughs> now, let me know, guys, is it distracting having my face down here? Even because I'm kind of like tipping my head down and looking down. I don't have to leave the picture in picture up all the time if you're, you know, if it's distracting. So anyway, what we're going to do is take one of these tones, one of these colors. Oh, I forgot my goldie, my a golden kind of color. I do need, I think I'm going to take cadmium yellow deep as my gold tone. And that is actually going to be kind of like an underpainting. Now I can color right over the top of this and we're not going to, um, we're not going to have any problem with the interaction of the pen. It's not going to try and um, do anything to it because, well, <laughs> the pen's behind everything. Now this plastic has been sanded and that's why the colored pencil can stick to it. I cannot color with colored pencil on the shiny side, the pencil doesn't do anything. It has no tooth. It has nothing to grab onto. On the shiny side, you can use um, any type of permanent marker, Sharpie markers, alcohol markers. Those will all work. All right, Billy, thank you so much. And I'm hope, I am hope that you, you know, enjoyed the bit, the bit that you saw and that you'll come back for the replay at the end or another day. And please share this with your friends 
and make sure that they know, hey, there's somebody out there doing art that's live streaming right now. I think it's kind of fun to do that. I hope that you enjoy the time that you see, see it happening. And if you're here in the replay, thank you so much for coming. And you can click the link that's down below in the more information box to take you right to the donation page for St. Jude's. So I'm going to keep going here. This is my very first time that I've done. Okay, so it's nice that nice to have the picture in picture. Okay, I'll leave the picture in picture. <laughs> So I see that we've got uh, 32 people watching right now. That's really cool. <laughs> All right. So I am putting in this cadmium yellow deep down around the edges. And you see this? I am being really quite sloppy with how I'm putting the color on because you can layer colors. You can't layer them as much as you would, um, you know, if you were doing it on a fancy paper, but you can get some nice color layering going. That's what I did on this little sloth. I just layered up his colors. He's actually very similar for the colors that I'm going to be doing on this moth. We'll just set him over to the side. Now, on this one, I see that there were like these extra lines. This is, I'm using it for the coloring. Sorry for the glare. I'm using it for the coloring, but I'm not using it for the actual um, design. How's that? Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> and I'm going to take a little sip of my coffee. So... I hope that you guys have some fun. You know, I anybody interested, do you want me to put the uh, moth design up on my uh, webpage so that you can have this moth as a traceable? I drew this one up, so, you know, it's mine, it's mine to share. Let's see. I think I'm actually going to pull some of that color back this way also to give it a little bit of a glow underneath. Now there's some color that's here on this. Let's see, do I have a blank page? There we go. We can have a a blank page so that we have a clean a clean view there that's better it's not as distracting all right so i hope that you have so much fun doing this It's interesting doing this on my own. I, I don't know, you know, but I'm not really, hey, off kilter crafter Ian, it is awesome to see you. And um, Mark is in and out. He's actually at work right now. And so when he pops in, you know, hey, Ian, are you gonna be around for a little while? I would love to make you a moderator if you are. <laughs> Not that I actually need the moderator right now, but I, you know, yeah, so Ian, Off Kilter Crafter, is one of the design team members for the Art Sherpa ATC Club that we both are on and my husband Mark is on also. All right, I am going to, whoops, wrong wrong click <laughs> click add moderator there we go I actually thought I'd already done that <laughs> so we are doing a fun moth 
and we are raising money for St. Jude's. We've got $35 raised now, and that is awesome. We are um, trying to reach $100 tonight. That's my goal. So I am just going to keep going. And if people want to go out and share this video uh, stream with their friends, share that I'm up live, awesome. Love to have that. And remember that even a dollar is a valuable donation. A dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can afford, whatever you feel comfortable with sharing. And I am really, really excited to see this number keep going up. So here we are. And if you are, yeah, I know, isn't that cool? $35 so far. If you are, um, at the, let's see, I can't even remember what the, what the donation levels was. I think at $10, you get one of my uh, stickers. That's okay, Christy. Chrissy, that is fine. You're not, don't worry, don't worry. We're actually fundraising all month long. So at some point, if you feel that you've got the money to do it, but only if you've got it. Hey, Carolyn, nice to see you. And Shelly Bean. See, everybody's getting shout outs because we're still a very friendly, small little group of folks. <laughs> but we're doing a moth on uh, shrink plastic. So right now I just put in some base color of cadmium yellow deep. I'm going to pick up this Venetian red and unlock my screen again so that I can find it. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using this for my color palette. So that's what I'm using for the color palette. And this is from an illustration that I found on um, Pinterest that's from a, um, an antique book of um, moths. It's almost like a botanical, um, you know, those botanical illustrations, but it's, it's a naturalist, naturalist illustrations of um, insects. So what I'm going to do here, I think I want to go ahead and get some of this darker Venetian red. Yes. Oh, good. I remembered that, that color correctly. So ah, I got to sit up and not put my head straight down. <laughs> this, like I said, is really quite interesting. All right, Nelson, that is amazing. I, you know, only do what you feel comfortable with doing. That's, you know, um, and make sure that, hey, Carolyn, I am so, so glad that you're here. First time. Awesome. <laughs> so only, only do what you feel comfortable doing. Never do, never pledge more or donate more than what you're comfortable with doing. Because if you're not comfortable doing it, then you're, you're always going to have a regret and you never want to regret something that's going out into the world to help others like this. So only do it from that giving place in your heart that says, yes, I can afford to do this. So yes. And Ian, here is the link if you wanted to to copy that so that you would be able to, to drop the link also from time to time. That would be very helpful. I love how this color, let's see here, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I have to reach up above my head <laughs> to zoom in. Oh, my mic is low. Uh, just a moment. Let me see what I can do. Actually, what I can do, I can just move the mic. How's that? Is that better? If I hope that, I hope that's better. Um, excellent. Thank you so much for getting me covered with that link. So I am scrolling down and going to... The color almost shines. It does. It does. 
All right, so there, I've turned up my volume also. So we're just going to start layering some of these colors now. I want to layer in this Venetian red over the yellow. And that's going to start giving us some color blending. Now, you don't want to color super dark. If you color too dark, or color really, really dark, your colors can get, um, they can just get too intense. So I'm hoping that that looks okay. This was a lot of fun, this little butterfly. Um, because if you think about it, as this is shrinking, these, all of this color is getting compressed. A booming voice. <laughs> well, then you can turn down the volume on yours. I'll have my volume up. So that way, uh, I've been told I have a fairly distinctive loud voice. <laughs> and I am actually partially deaf in one ear. So, you know, I, I understand what that's, how that, that particular thing feels. And the, I don't know that I heard what I think you just, I don't know that I heard what I think you just said. How's that? <laughs> and then having to decipher what people are saying. That's always a challenge. So, you can't find the link to donate? Ian, just drop the link there for you. Let's, well, let's hope that that link is actually working. Is that, is that link not working? Let's see. Oh, it's only going partway. Let me get you the right link. Copy. Here, let's, let's get you the whole link. There. Now we've got the whole link. Oh, come on now. It shows. Why is it breaking the link down? The link should be. Huh. I am. surprised and a little dismayed. No, the link must work. Show more. So the link down in the more information box does work. Apparently, the link that I copied, it's truncating it. It's cutting it off. So the link down in the more information box works. And I'm going to continue coloring. Oh, I just picked up my cadmium yellow. <laughs> I got distracted. Oh, and that's the alizarin crimson. Is that what I was using? Yes. Phew. <laughs> that was what I was using. So, all right. Yeah, see, Ian, yours is cutting off also. Okay, so guys, down below the video in the more information box, the, um, the link right there at the top is working because I just clicked on it and it just took me over there. So, please... Um, Click on that more information box. Apparently the link just doesn't want to, doesn't want to work right. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I can, maybe I can type it into the box. Maybe. If you type in deliberately creative, in the, um, in the, 
or creative for the kids. See, what it is, is the, why is that not showing? I am so sorry. They all work for you and you're on a desktop computer. Okay. <gasps> okay, so, well, I'm going to keep coloring because I want to get, I want to get a few, few of these things done. So I'm going to put some of this brighter color down the back. And then I'm going to take some of this orange, the cadmium orange, and get a stripe in. And let's just, let's just get this one. I'm kind of using this to sort of give me some shadowy lines. I know you bright orange to make shadows. But yes, a little bit like that. Sorry, I need to zoom out just a smidge again. Yay, got it. Excellent. Ha, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get some of that orange put in on this side. It's just giving a, a little indication of some striping. It's not, or of shadows. We're not too worried about making it perfect. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go like this, right over all of that. Now, what I'm gonna do is flip it over and show you what it's looking like. So far, that's what it's looking like. Because remember, this is the side we did the pen on. Oh, right. Yay. Hey, Patty Ann. Nice to see you. We are doing Shrinky Dinks and raising money for the kids at St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And we are taking do doing the donations through Tiltify. Because then you can use a, you can use whatever type of payment form you want. I never see it. It goes straight into a very secure and safe location um, that makes it really nice to be able to do these types of um, donations. And well, thank you, Carolyn. I really, I really appreciate that. I, I. It's neat. I haven't, um, it's neat to do this type of a thing. I'm not, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Okay. This is the Naples yellow. Oh, I see. I missed a line. I have to pick up my Sharpie pen then. <laughs> Just a moment. Going down. Maybe. Where'd the pen go? Okay. So the Sharpie pen is down and gone. Um, things go missing very quickly underneath. Oh, there it is. Ah. There we go. Okay. Sharpie pen. All right. Thank you, Ian, for, for putting the link up. I really, whoopsie, wrong side. There. Wanted that line. It's not going to be a problem that it's on this side, too. It's just going to shrink down. And the Naples yellow. Yep. I just want to put a little line of that in there. I want to grab a... I think I want some blue. So I'm going to grab kind of a brightish blue. And this is a uh, Prussian blue. With all this orange, I'm thinking that blue would be really pretty to put in for some of those extra spots. And I see I missed a few lines. It's not a big deal. They don't always have to be perfectly... Well, the pencils that I am using are... 
the Soho Professional Colored Pencils by Jerry's Artorama. And that's the information they have. They are coloring very nicely. I just got them recently, so I haven't done a lot with them. And so I'm sorry, I'm looking. Uh, thank you, Nelson. That's, you know, sometimes if we think about it, you know, a cup of coffee. Going to, you know, maybe uh, if if we were going to get a um, an extra large cup, maybe we get a step down. We get the next size down and we take the extra and we put that in. Oh my gosh, Karen McIntosh. Thank you. Oh, wow. Woo! Yay. We are already past the goal for tonight. We are at $125. Woo. Thank you so much. That is amazing. That is so amazing. Thank you. Wow. Oh, that was such a surprise, Karen. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> goal reached. Well, the goal is just going to keep getting bigger because did you know it takes $2.4 million a day, 365 days a year to keep the lights on and to take care of all of the families, to take care of all of the children, and to do the research that's needed to cure childhood cancers. $2.4 million a day. If what we, what we raise, it's going to keep the lights on for a few minutes or for a minute. And that's amazing too. But what we raised is going to take care of children's diapers, take care of isolation robes, take care of Oh, Janice, thank you so much. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you so much for your donation. That, that is just making me so, so happy. And the kids are going to be the ones that really, really benefit. But in the long run, we all benefit because all of their research at St. Jude's is open source. That means that everything that they do they are raising the awareness, the knowledge, and the skill levels of everyone in the world that is working to cure cancer. And that's just totally amazing. Thank you guys so much. I need to continue coloring and, and, and not cry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, golly. I'm going to grab some white and put a little bit of white in. Now, the nice thing about doing the white from this side is that it's not picking up the color from the pen and it's not smearing the pen. There we go. Chrissy, you know what? Sharing about this like you're doing, sharing it on your social media, sharing it with your friends. Oh, and Julia Taylor just subscribed. Thank you very much, Julia Taylor. <laughs> There we go. See, I, I went and grabbed some, um, some of the little things that, that the little flashy things that the uh, gamers use on their live streams. And so I wanted to grab just a little, you know, some little, little things here to make it more fun. And Janice, that was so sweet of you. I really appreciate and the kids are going to appreciate. No child has ever had a bill. And once they are a member of the St. Jude's family, they are taken care of for life. As long as they live, they are part of the St. Jude's family and they will always have medical care taking care of them. That's amazing. Totally amazing. Yes, St. Jude's is fantastic. Oh, and thank you, Madonna. I appreciate that. You know, I don't know that I'm fantastic, but I, I, I think I'm pretty darn, pretty darn good, pretty darn happy. And boy, this makes me so 
happy to be able to help. Now I'm just putting some white in a few of these areas because it sort of blends the colors. See how it's sort of smoothing those colors out? There we go. Making highlights around those orange stripes, blending with that yellow that's underneath. And now with that red over here, that Venetian red is really nice. It doesn't go too pink when I put white over it. Okay. Sorry, guys. I've got to wipe my drippy nose. <laughs> Aha, yes. Um, so that is called Streamlabs. And it's really cool. And when you're doing lives, Streamlabs connects with your YouTube. And I will show you how to do that, Ian. That is, it's really very neat. And it's not hard to set up. So I was still using white because I need to get it on this other side. And then we're going to get this cut out, punched, and shrunk. Although I do want to put a little bit more color on here. <laughs> See, I keep talking and not, not doing all of this. There we go. Just blend, 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 blend. Neat thing about this, you can keep adding color. I want to do that blue. Oh, yeah. Run the, run the white on that blue, and that just blends it out, smooths it. Now when we flip it over, too shiny. Yep, it needs a little bit more brown, more of a, a, a darker, yeah, I think maybe that brown. This is English red, but English red is a more brown colored red. So I want to get some something a little bit deeper in here. So... Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. Ian is an amazing artist, guys. And if you have not checked out Ian, the off-kilter crafter, and Mark of MWB Arts, you should really check those guys out. They do amazing art. And these are guys that have such great hearts. You know, I'm kind of biased about Mark because, you know, he is my husband. But I'm also kind of biased about Ian because he's a friend. And I think that he is amazing. And both of them are artists with, you know, out here on YouTube, it's really hard to find guys who are sweet and kind and caring and are such good role models for anyone watching and Ian and Mark are both those kind of role models so I fully endorse sharing and shouting them out there we go so yeah I just start I just start coloring and my hands just start doing this without me really paying that close of attention. So I'm bouncing around a lot. But now, let's see. Look at that. Oh, that's fun. All right. A little bit. A little bit. I'm taking the Sanguine, which is more of a deeper brown. I'm going to put some of that around this outside edge with that gold color. And it looks kind of, you know, kind of scribbly. And that's okay. It's, it's amazing how this is going to just all pull together. And we're going to be doing that in just a second. So I hope the sound is okay now. And 
Well, you should be blushing, Ian. You got very nice words said about you, but you know what? You should also not be blushing because you deserve every word that I said. So there. All right. There. I want to, that's what I want to do. I want to make this darker right around those spots. It's like I knew there was something I wanted to do here. And I didn't want to put black on, so this brown is working really well. Okay, so I know it looks kind of messy and kind of scribbly and all of that. Don't worry. And I'm not going to be wasting all of this. These are big enough pieces to actually do some things. So I'm going to be kind of careful how I cut this out. And when you cut in, you don't want to turn the corner inside. So I'm going to come from this direction over here and cut around. And the reason why you don't want to turn that corner and you don't want to, if you, if you turn a corner, it pops and it will tear the, tear the plastic. You see how that just went like that? And if you snip, it will tear the plastic also. See how you get that little extra blip right there? Oh, yes. My gosh. So guys, we're at $245. We totally blew the um, original goal for tonight out of the water. I am so excited. And my next stream, I will have a goal again and we'll continue. But for now, we're going to do a butterfly, a fish, and an owl. And it's going to be what, however long it takes me to get it done because I promised that that's what I was going to do. So I'm going to have to start working a little bit more quickly. This bit right here, I am not going to worry about saving all of the, the plastic. You see how I did that though? And by not snipping out at, out at the tip, I'm not popping into any of those edges. There we go. We're just going to wiggle. Nice thing about it is that any little... Yep, I did it. I turned. I can trim that off. It's very easy to, to go right in. Yes, shrink plastic... Uh, you can usually find it in the kid art sections. Jumping up and down. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've been jumping up and down. I am jumping up and down inside. Madonna, I appreciate your, your donation also. I, you know, I love how we've got the ticker that's showing up here at the top and sharing those names so that you guys are all being uh, recognized because I think that you should be recognized. So cutting down and I'm not going to do a whole bunch of fiddly ins and outs there. I'm just going to smoothly cut along and down. Now, I do want to get some white here in his eyes. Just a little bit of white. And I think I want a little bit of white to sort of smooth out some of these colors on his back. Just a bit. Okay. Hole punch. Now, if I want... teeny, 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 tiny holes like that, I use this hole punch. And if I want holes that are a little bit bigger, 
a little bit easier to put things through that will be that size. So I'm thinking that the, you guys all rock. Let me tell you. Yeah, and make sure the rewards tab so that you can get your magnet or get the sticker. If you do a $10 donation, there's stickers and 20, I can't remember, 20 or 25. I can't remember um, donation for the um, for the magnet and they're exactly the I support St. Jude's play live get creative for the kids with that cute owl that's what's there <laughs> you didn't even know about the magnet until afterwards that's really really cool you know and if you don't want it, you don't have to have it, but I am going to send these out as soon as I get, I'm going to go and pick up some envelopes and just start dropping these into envelopes and mailing them out. These are all being sent out from me. It's not being sent out from St. Jude's. They're not spending any money on that. And any of the prizes that they're sent, because they're actually sending prizes out to people that raise certain amounts of money but that's all been donated. Everything they're giving out has been donated. So Twitch, um, if you raise $500, Twitch has uh, sweatshirts. And if you raise, you know, $100, there's a mouse pad or, you know, different things. It's not big stuff, but it's uh, nothing that they pay for. St. Jude's doesn't pay for any of these donation, the, these prizes for people who are raising money for them. So cool stuff. Gonna pop these holes. I think I'm going to do this, the small holes and I'm just randomly selecting a spot in each of the wings. So that way when it's hung, it will hang like this. And now I am going to move that out of the way and grab my I have a, a piece of cardboard. Let's hope that it's, whoo, that's going to be bright. This piece of cardboard here that's been wrapped with foil. It, I love the Tiltify um, way of doing these donations. I think that is so amazing that they have set it up and they do this for a lot of different companies or a lot of different organizations. Now I'm going to grab just a popsicle st or a stick. Now this is going to be a little bit louder. I'm going, I'm going to be a little soft for a minute. I'm hoping to be able to talk. Is this too loud? If it's too loud, let me know. Let's see, maybe I can just move. My... Sorry, I'm moving my mic around. So now we're gonna start the, no, these are not watercolor pencils this time. These are standard pencils. And whoo, here it goes. He's starting to shrink. And the bigger they are, the more dramatic it is. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad that it's not too loud. Um, no, these are not watercolor pencils. These are standard artist colored pencils. They are a wax base. And these are by Jerry's Artorama. They are the Soho brand, the Soho brand colored pencils. Yeah, isn't that... Okay, so now we're going to zoom in a little. Isn't that cool? It is not a blow dryer. This is a craft a Ranger heated tool. It is a an embossing gun or an embossing tool. And the heated is um, very hot, but very not very loud. Stuck there. There we go.
See, look at that. Isn't that cool? We're just... It takes a little bit of time when you do it this way. The package directions actually have you using an oven. And so you can do this in a, in a, um, in any kind of a, you know, a toaster oven, or you can do it in the regular kitchen oven. I'm going to flip him over so you can see the details. Look at that. And then you can just keep shrinking until he's all flat again. Yep. Yep, you can put them in the oven and do this. You can do it with the heat tool. When you're only doing one or two at a time, it's kind of fun to just, if you've got the heat gun, just do it with the heat tool. So see, we've got this wing that still needs to shrink. So... I'm trying to work it in such a way that I'm not blocking him. <laughs> Isn't it fun? I just... Okay, I'm going to have to block it for just a second. And really get the, the, the heat going right there. There we go. Almost. Now I'm going to flip him back over. See how different the coloring looks from one side to the other side. It's almost like doing stained glass. Um, so when you're coloring from the back side here, flip it there. There. You see how the colors show up to the back so let's see I'm gonna I'm actually going to let's see which way do I want if it's hanging I want to kind of bend him just a little bit there so you have a, a tiny bit of time it is hot but I'm holding it with just my my fingertips I used to watch through the oven window too, but this is even more fun. <laughs> and there we go. How's the moth? You see how it looks almost like a little stained glass. I'm excited. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you were so you were a little freaked out when it started curling up on itself. It's amazing. You just have to trust it's going to flatten back out when it's shrunk down to the amount that it was supposed to be. So let's see here. Where's that? So here is the original size, and this is when it got shrunk down. Look at that. There we go. See how much that shrunk. It shrinks down 60%, 60, 65%. So, you know, it's, it's, it's cool that it does that. So now I had a request for an owl and a request for a fish. And I don't know if Alien Koi is still in the house. I was thinking about taking my goldfish pattern as soon as I find it again because you know I I keep throwing things around by me let's see ah. move that out of the way don't need that there anymore okay so I've got butterflies I've got other moths butterflies fish yes I want to do fish so I need to, I want to find my fishy that I already had designed and the pattern. So what I need to do is set things off out of my way for a minute. 
so that I kind of, sometimes you have to clear the decks just a little bit. Okay, that was bad. What? Put the two together and you get a foul? Real Moth, my yard looks like that. Oh, yeah, the, the big moths that, we don't get the big huge ones here in the Pacific Northwest that I've seen. Um, the size that this is right here is about the biggest we get. We're, we're too um, temperate. We get too cold. We get too wet. Um, where did my fishy go? Well, I may have to just draw up a new fish and hope that I remember well enough. So what I'm going to do, let's see if I've got any pages in this. Uh, nope. This one, nope. <laughs> this one, nope. Well, doggone it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to stand up and see if I threw it. Ah, there it is. I keep disappearing. Oops. There we go. From fish to owl, a fowl. Thank you, Nelson. Now I get it. Thank you. <laughs> I, you know, um, sometimes I'm not as quick. I, I try. I try to be quick. But sometimes it, it's just not going to work that way. So let's see. For the goldfish. Now, when I did this little guy, I did not do a heavy pen outline. And when I did this one, I did not do a heavy pen outline. I did some details in pen. So do we want to, do we want to do it more like a beta fish? And, um, I've got a little bit of room here. I can maybe get his, uh, his fins a little bit more exaggerated. <laughs> yes, Frisky Christy. Shrinky Dinks. And just as a, by the way, if you are uh, new here, please click that subscribe button and make sure that you click the bell to be notified when new videos go up because I plan on doing a few more live streams and I do have one video that goes up guaranteed every Monday. So, and I do two or three other, or I end up with two or three videos a week. So just to show you, Frisky Christy, there's the moth that we just did. And it is set up with holes up here at the corners so it can hang as a necklace. And then here's the other side. So it's, it can be worn either direction. So it could be worn out this way, or it could be worn this way. I love having, I love having, um, options and Thank you so much for all of the donations that we've had so far tonight for the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. This it has been amazing. We came in with a goal of $100 and we have blasted through that goal. We are at $245 at this time right now and more donations can always be put in. Ian is dropping the link, and if you're here during the replay, or even now, the link is available down below in the more information box. And when you go click that donate button, make sure and check out the rewards. I've got some stickers and magnets available that say that you support St. Jude's Play Live for getting creative for the kids. So 
because creative for the kids is my particular little streamy thingy. Will Shrinky Dink stand up to displaying outside? Yes. Yes. What I would do for the, um, I would seal the backside and I would just use like a Krylon um, outdoor finish and make sure that you just seal the back. Give it two or three coats, you know, let it dry, give it a coat, let it dry. And then you could hang this like um, do multiple pieces that are hanging on fishing line and being used like little wind spinners. They are really, really cool. Really cool that way. So I hope that uh, that answered your question. I am going to go ahead and start doing this fish. But this fish I am going to do with the Crayolas. So that, see I've got my cup of Crayolas here. And I am thinking that this guy is not going to be a goldfish. No, he is going to be some other kind of fish. Now I'm going to darken this screen down just a little bit. There, make it a little bit easier for you to see. All right. Oh my goodness gracious, we've been going for an hour and a half already. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christy. That is amazing. Oh, woohoo! Yes, the fish I see. <laughs> So Janice painted cool birdhouses. These would go really well with them. They would. You can do some very, very sweet birds. Okay, I need to take a sip. I've been... Excuse me. I've been talky, talky, talking. So now, those of you who have not been in here, the, the wind... <laughs> Wind it the fish. Yes, you can have, before you shrink it, you pop a hole. So then you can suspend it. Just like I did there. And all I did was put a, um, a little eye pin. Blue and purple and green beta. All right. I like that idea. Um, this is going to be blue, purple, and... Oh, that's, that's my white Prismacolor. So even when I am doing Crayolas, I will use the white Crayola for blending, but I will use my white Prismacolor for highlights. Even with the Crayolas, that's just what I do. So while I'm finding my colors, St. Jude's, amazing, amazing organization that has never charged a family for care, has never held back on any of their uh, research innovations and things that they come up with. They do open source on all of their research so that other research hospitals and other research organizations can take that information and use it as long as they are using it for the good of all and not charging money for it. They don't charge anyone money for their research. They are also the place that creates the flu vaccine every year because if you think about it, their kids need to be protected. So they're coming up with the vaccines each year to protect their kids and in doing that, they're making everyone else that gets the vaccine have that opportunity to be protected also. It's amazing. I, I get teary every single time I talk about this. It is so amazing. Okay, blue and purple and green. So I need... Okay, that's a navy blue. That's a light blue and... I think I want the, uh, yeah, the turquoise blue. I'm going to go with the lime green and the just green green. And then the purple is going to be the orchid. And 
I will use the magenta for some of my purple tone, not maroon. <laughs> Yes, St. Jude's is that organization that goes out and helps as many people as possible just by virtue of being amazing. And because of Danny Thomas and his, um, his vision in doing this, when he decided to do St. Jude's, he didn't know how he was going to make this happen. He decided this was going to happen. He was going to find a way to um, get cancer cured for everyone. And he just, he, like I said, he didn't know how he was going to do it. He had a vision. He got backers. He got people who would help. And it just grew. To this wonderful organization that it is now. It is, let's see, yeah, it's really sad when there's organizations out there that um, promise to help and then they ask for huge amounts of money. No child has ever had a bill. No parent has ever had a bill for their child being in care with St. Jude's and any child that has ever been in care with St. Jude's has St. Jude's for life with no charge because that's what they do. Once you become a member of the St. Jude's family, you're a member of their family and they treat people as family. So there we go. All right. I need to stop because I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting teary-eyed here. I need to move these pencils back into their case. Patty. Oh, thank you for... Let's see. I have to be careful on all of the things that I, that I read because sometimes I read... And it will break me down then, too. Okay. Sorry. Ducking out of the way. Gotta take care of the drippy nose. There we go. <laughs> All right. So here we've got these lovely colors. And we've got this cute, cute, cute fish. Now, I'm going to sort of work it around. And I want to set it back on... the bright white paper to make it easier to see because this one is going to stay underneath the whole time until I get an outline. And I think what I will do, because I don't know, I'm just going to make this a beautiful, colorful fish. And I think I'm going to use the magenta to get my, my design on. The body is going to be the same, but the fins are going to get much more um, expressive. So let's take this one out and wiggle that one in. Oh yeah. So there's going to be some cuts here. There's going to be I'm going to probably color that so it looks like they're wiggles and folded and this one here, oh, it's going out to the edge. And that goes up, kind of almost like an orchid. All right, well, that. We're just, we're just getting, you know, some designs in here. Let's see. 
a 60% off Michael's coupon burning a hole in your pocket. Oh yeah, Shrinky Dink Supplies, here she comes. It's so much fun. The uh, Shrinky Dinks, I do have a link down below that's an affiliate link if you're um, somebody who wants to order off of Amazon. Um, no pressure, no, you know, just just letting you know. It's like $7 for 10 sheets um, of the 8x10. So it's, it's not too expensive, but if you can find it for $7 in the store and a 60% off coupon, woohoo, that would be so cool. So I'm going to move that drawing out from under there in just a second. I'm just trying to kind of keep an eye on his general, well there, actually, no, I can, I can move that out. How's that? I was about to see you name flower. Name a flower. Oh, name name a flower. I, well, I said that it looked kind of like an orchid almost or an iris right here, doesn't it? That would be pretty to do in the uh, Shrinky Dinks. But right now, I am just getting... these fun fins in and where things overlapped because I'm going to be cutting in there. Neat thing is that I can cut in and around that area right there and that will be gone. That That's, that's not getting colored. That's not getting colored. Wow. This is so bright. Let's see, a little bit more. There we go. No, you can't use a Michael's coupon on Amazon. I said if you can find it at Michael's for the same price that you get it at Amazon, then with your 60% off coupon, it would be even better. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start getting some color in on this. And this pink really is my lightest color. So this is going to be sort of the color going down the top of his body and coming into his face. And it is going to end up being some of my highlights also. And it's going to be interesting figuring out how I'm gonna do the green. Maybe I should figure out the green. Oh yeah, the green can come in. And then we'll see if we can fade blue and purple together with the greens. Mm, this is gonna be pretty. And the Crayolas work just fine for this. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'd be unstoppable if Amazon took Michael's coupons. Yep. I'm already kind of unstoppable as it is. Here, I'm going to take this bracelet off because... Ugh. The St. Jude's Play Live. There we go. And thank you guys so much for the donations. I am so, so happy, so impressed by you all. You know, we, we are all here, I think, to do things that help other people somehow. You know, even if it's your day-to-day -day job that you, you know, you do something where you're helping others. We're all here to help others somehow. Along with helping ourselves. Because, you know, in the, in the scheme of things, helping St. Jude's is helping so many people. And we're even helping ourselves. All right. Ooh, 
That green is just looking amazing. He's going to have a little green face here. I hope you don't mind that I, I sort of wander around on my thinking. <laughs> and thank you, Mark, for coming back in and checking out to see how we're doing. You know what? I am working on figuring out how to do Shrinky Dinks to make an ATC card. I was trying to do this one, but it just is too big. Um, my one, di one dimension is two and three quarters inches by three and a half. And that two and three quarters is just too big to fit into the sleeve. So I have to adjust my um, original measurements because this was seven inches by nine inches. So I'm going to have to do maybe try it with six and a half or six inches by nine inches and see if that works. Wouldn't that be cool? Because look at that from both, both sides. And now I did not flatten this, um, but you can see that I was, I was working on on an idea for hope. Once you choose hope, anything is possible. And this little sloth is just too fun. So I want to use him. I really want to use him. So, and yes, you could attach some little shrinky dinks to the card as long as you kept them flat. So you would probably want to glue them flat on, like taking something like this and gluing it and gluing it onto your card. That could make a really neat dimensional card and it wouldn't be too thick. You'd be able to fit that into a... Who knew you'd need math in art? <laughs> well, you know, I, I do things by guessing by golly a lot of times. So I think I've got enough of that bright green I'm going to put a little bit of the darker green, I think, down here on the lower part of his face. This is going to be really interesting. And I'm even going to sort of draw over. Now, this side is going to be the inside. When it gets folded, I did it with the shiny side out because fish are kind of shiny. And then the dull side was to the colored side was to the inside. So there we go. Yes, you can use. Well, there we go. We have another subscriber. Lords. Very nice. Thank you. And now the thing is, is that many of the subscribers that come up on this, they might not even be watching the live stream. They might be someplace else on YouTube watching one of my other videos. But that's okay because it's kind of cool to see. I like the little kitty cat that pops up. It's going to look iridescent. Yes. Now I've, I've uh, reduced the lighting right now so that we could see it better um, in the uh, while I'm working on it. I'm going to take a little bit of this white and work it in a few spots and patches because I want the white to show. If you want the white to show on this side over here, which you can't see right now because I'm top of a white background. There. See how the white shows up? You want, you want the white to show up. You have to do the white closer to the plastic so that it will come through on the other side. And this is the Prismacolor white. I'm just putting some little spots, little bits, and putting some out here on the edges of the fins, those lovely dancing fins. And I can color right over the edges of my line that I drew because I'm using scissors and trimming it out.
give his little tummy sides some of that white not that the white is going to be out there all by itself I'm going to put more colors on here iridescent paints would look cool the thing with the paints though is that you like maybe iridescent watercolor but you don't want to use the heat tool on um, the acrylic paint because acrylic paints can release toxins um, when they are superheated. So you don't want to you don't want to put your acrylic paint on before you before you shrink. But you could certainly go in and put the iridescence on after. Gel pens. Yes, gel pens would work. Now I'm taking this blue. Ooh, I like that light blue. That light blue that's actually quite bright. <laughs> and I'm working it into the green. And by working it up into the green and across the white, look at that. It gives a an ombre type of effect. I like this combination. This is this is looking pretty. You never know when or who you will help. Exactly. Exactly. Isn't that pretty though? So yes, um, remember that even a donation of a dollar, donation of a dollar gets um, the masks for protecting children from um, germs because when they are in doing their chemotherapy, they uh, have to be basically isolated from any kind of germs when they're getting their different therapies and things like that. So. I need a little bit more of that green. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I'll have to look up what a Carolina blue is. I don't know what that is. Prismacolors are lovely pencils to use. I love my Prismacolors, but I love my Crayolas. And I love the... Anything that you can make art with, you know, love on it. Get, get used to using it. Don't think that something is so precious that you can't use it because spending money on nice art supplies is so that you can use nice art supplies. Don't. Don't spend money and then let something sit on a box or on a shelf because, gosh darn it, you want to create glitter gel pens. Oh yeah. Well, that's something I need to experiment with. See, I love experimenting with a lot of different things. So, you know, just, just remember that you have lots of opportunities to experiment with different projects, especially with shrink plastic, because, well, they don't take that long. They don't require a lot of, um, a lot of time or materials to end up with something really quite cool. See, I want to swing that out just a little more. I want that to have a little more shape. See, we can just make it work out the way we want and say, ha, huh, <laughs> we can do it. Let's see. And that's 
perfectly fine. Let's see here. Where did my, oh, my mouse hit the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. <laughs> so, a dollar donation, two dollar donation, all of those make a difference. Band-Aids, a box of, you know, Band-Aids for kids when they've got their ports in, um, all kinds of things like that. You just, um, you know, don't, you just don't realize that such a small amount of money can make a huge difference in the lives of kids. Oh, golly. I'm going to pull some of that blue onto the sides. I don't know that it's actually going to get purple purple. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this blue and green and magenta. So I think this is what it's going to end up with. Just because. He's going to be fun, though. Uh, his fins are going to do amazing wiggles and wiggles and wanders for sure because these are all you know these are all separate pieces so they're all going to twist and and wander as we're as we're shrinking okay we're getting close to this one being ready to cut out close. I want to get a little bit more of a wiggle and a wander on here. There we go. And maybe pull a little bit more of that green down into this part. Oh, I am a total wimp when it comes to needles. You can ask my husband about that. I am not, I am not the brave when it comes to needles at all. Let's see, oh, maybe go on the other side. Gotta sharpen the screen up. I ran it all the way down flat. It's not perfect, but it's at least there we go. Get some of that green work down into the blue. All right. We're getting, we're getting there. Wow, that green is so bright. It's so pretty. And grab my... That was my light blue, right? Yeah. Got to make sure I pick up the same blue. <laughs> there, we're going to go that way and that way. And like this. So I look up every once in a while. I try to remember <laughs> to look up. But I've got the uh, screen, the monitor screen is right in front of me. Hey, Cinnamon. Oh, yes, you have a wrench. Oh, yes, you do. And here we go. So, hey, folks, the first, the first piece that we did was this lovely moth and now we're doing a pretty betta fish with blue and green and magenta and I made the fins just all wild and crazy so for all of our new folks coming in we had a goal of making $100 during this live stream and we have busted through that goal with all kinds of abandon 
and hit $275. Hey, thank you, Carolyn. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. We have hit $275 so far, and I am so excited about that. And we have been sharing all about how St. Jude's is totally amazing, how they are open source with their research, how they have never charged a family for any care, and how once a child is a member of the St. Jude's family, they're part of St. Jude's for the rest of their lives. St. Jude's is the the group that creates the new flu vaccine every year and they share it openly with all all people so they are so worthy of any help that we can give them and I just have been doing this snorfling all evening long and I bless, 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 bless every single one of you for being here, for sharing about this. Even if you can't donate, sharing about St. Jude's, sharing donation links out on your social media, that helps even as much as putting in a, a donation sharing it out in the world as much as you possibly can because you never know who you know who may just drop a jackpot on St. Jude's because that's what they want to do. So, breathe. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Boy, you've been in here a lot considering you're at work tonight. <laughs> All right, I am grabbing my um, navy blue and going in and getting some navy blue in on this pretty fishy's eyes and going to leave spot for white. So, the second I'm... <laughs> So getting spot here for white, going to put a little bit of blue over the area where his little lips are going to be, his little fish mouth. And I'm just going to use the navy blue kind of as my darkest shadow. There's not going to be anything else but that. Thank you guys. And bye, Patty Ann. Thank you for coming. I so appreciate it. Excellent point, Gail. You can make a choice for um, donation. If you on Amazon, you can go through Amazon Smile and you can select St. Jude's as one of the donation um, organizations that you can support. So then a percentage of your purchases will then automatically go to St. Jude's and it doesn't charge you anything extra. You're just buying your stuff and instead of, um, you know, like it's the same money that if you had gone through an, an affiliate link, the money that would go to the person whose affiliate link you're going through, the small, you know, few cents on the dollar, that few cents on the dollar, if you're going through Amazon Smile, those are like affiliate links that go directly to the organization that you've chosen. So St. Jude's is an organization that you can choose and it's wonderful. So I'm going to do this. Give that just a little line so I can see where I'm going to cut. <laughs> and we are going to trim this guy out. Now, 
there is going to be a hole popped right here. And that will give us that place to put an eye pin so that I can suspend him. And that's pretty much balanced. It, he may, this one may end up being a little bit tail tippy and he may be swimming up all the time and that's okay. So there we go. Now we're gonna cut this one out. And remember when you're cutting that you always stay back in the scissors. You never go in and with just the tips and snip, because if you do, you'll pop the plastic and you'll get little breaks in your plastic. Now I think that this one, what I'm going to do is come out a little ways so that way I can come back and trim close in. So the same with this. It's like cutting with a jigsaw or a scroll saw. If you've ever done that, where you cut into a tight area, but you cannot turn the blade around in that spot. So you cut wide and then you can come back and trim in closer. So here we go. I can, these are widen up spaces. And I'm going to cut around. Now I'm cutting wide in. I'm going to come back and cut along that edge. And then I'm going to cut in and try and figure out a way to get close enough because this is a tight spot. There we go. All right. Thank you, Christy, for sharing. I appreciate that so much and St. Jude's. And, you know, this is all for the kids. It is all for the kids. And that is incredible. All right. So now I'm going to come back in. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I can come at it from that angle. I just want a smooth cut. There we are. All right. And now I'm just going to wiggle my way down. Out and around. And now this one I'm going to be trimming all the way in. Just like that. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to trim all the way in. This one has those pretty dancing types of fins. <laughs> you know what? As long as you keep your fingers away from the blade of the scissors, you should be fine. You should be fine. Now, I don't guarantee anything, and I don't guarantee that I will always keep my fingers away from the scissors, but I try. We're just getting these lovely flowy fins and just wiggle our way down. Just like that little fishy, just wiggle, wiggle. We're almost done. And then we get to remember to, <laughs> I need to remember to, and I just, I just did that. What I told you not to do, I turned too tightly, but I can trim in. To that point where it was where it broke through I can just trim up to it because you get these little tiny kind of cracks and then we're going to trim
trim this one you know and if it trims up too close that's okay remember these guys fins are moving oh that skin right up here that's if you snip that with your scissors that hurts that sounds now i've done that when i was cutting my son's hair that's you know back at, back in the day when i would give my son haircuts okay now before <laughs> before i shrink it i have to pop that hole so now I get to work my way in. Woo! I actually popped the hole on the hole. <laughs> That's a fun, scary thing. Because I was doing it from the side that I can't see. All right. We're going to zoom out a bit so we can watch this shrink, shrink, shrink. So for those who weren't here last time, this is a Ranger heated craft tool and it is very quiet and very hot. So this is going to be one that's going to make us feel like, oh my gosh, it's going to be very scary. It is going to curl up and the fins are going to wander all over the place on each other. But I just have this craft stick just in case. <laughs> All right. So you see the starting to curl up. You can zoom in now. It's kind of like those um, little uh, fortune telling plastic fish the little cellophane sheet that you would get and you would put it on your warm hand and it would curl up you know that's that's what this reminds me of now sometimes they will curl in on each other you know curl up and get um, bundled together no baking exactly it's alive it's alive and look at that, how it's, how they're flattening back out again. It's so much fun. Yeah, when you're only doing one or two pieces, it's, you know, this is much, actually much more um, efficient than when you're, yeah, I'm going to. See how it kind of stuck together a little bit right there? You get it warmed up, and then you can pull them apart. Just like that. Ooh, this is pretty. Another $10 donation? Wow! So exciting! Carol's Cool Crafts. And sewing. Thank you, Carol. That's wonderful. I appreciate it. The kids appreciate it. Yes, this is one of the best things to do for your heat gun. Now I'm going to get in right on top of it for a second here, just to really warm it up. Just like that. Look at that. We're going to get it really, really hot. And then I am going to, whew, very warm, <laughs> not bend fast enough is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do now is I've got it over the stick. And I'm going to heat it up. 
trying to balance it. This nice thing about this gun is that it's it doesn't blow a ton of air, but it's really hot. I'm sorry, Gail. The um, the word is um, underneath on my computer. It's uh, compressed. So I see St. Jude's Children's Research with your name underneath of the research. And I couldn't tell. So Gail, Gail thank you so much. I appreciate it. Just really, 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 really warming that up. And then... Fold it down. And then, woohoo. So now it's even holding on better. You see? Take care, Karen. I appreciate you being here so much. Thank you. All right. So we're going to get this warmed up a little bit more. Get these fins to be dancing around, but look at that. See, this is something I hadn't seen anyone else doing. You know, making more three-dimensional type objects, you know, animals and such. So, just want to really get those warmed up. You can see them kind of falling down a little bit. They want to, oh, there we go. Now he's getting some shape. Okay, so how's that for our little beta fish? I think he turned out really cute. I love those colors. I do want to warm up his face and sort of squish this bit just a bit. Squish that bit just a bit. So. Wow. Okay, so I have not been on a live show this long for myself before. <laughs> I'm so thankful that you guys are here, that you've come along and are enjoying the, the process, the time. There. Yeah. Okay, so you see how he's like all opening up again? That's because when you warm it up and it's hot. When you warm it up there, oh, neat. Okay, I can, let's see here. I need to brighten, brighten it up so now you can see him a little better. It was just going to be too bright on that. Um... The warning on the side of my, my tool. Caution, this is hot. It is not a hair dryer. It is intended for craft use only. Yes. But there we go. Now the hole is back here. I'll be able to put a uh, pin, a head pin through there and hang this up and away he'll go swimming. So two things down and now somebody had asked for a little owl. So I am going to pull out the, let's see, which book was that in? Oh my goodness. I can't even remember which book that was in. Was it in the big one? Anybody out there remember where it was? <laughs> Um, well, there's a couple owls, kind of like little rock owls. How about that one, guys? Now, if I did that that size, it would only be about this big right here. Or if I do it, I could do it more on a real circle, you know, a, a bigger circle. Sorry, I've got a splinter in my thumb from that popsicle stick that I was holding. There, got it out. Woohoo! 
Sorry, you got to see me do surgery on my thumb with my fingernails. <laughs> a unicorn. Oh, you know what? I am going to have to do another live stream because we are rocking this. I would love to see if we've got anyone out there that hasn't already um, done a donation. I would love to see if we could get it to 300 by the end of tonight because that would just be so freaking amazing. <laughs> so I am going to, I am going to, where's the punch? There's the punch. So if I did him like a really little round dude, I could do it this size hole would make this size and that would actually be a nice size owl for a little um, necklace. So I think I like that size. So we'll just take a piece of the shrinky dink film and knock things on the floor again. This time I don't have to go pick it up. There we go. Now, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to punch this. I usually set it on the floor and step on it. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll just see. Yep. Get it as close to the edge as I can. Okay, I have to set it on the floor and step on it. <laughs> And I'll just punch a couple of them while I'm down here. <laughs> because, you know, that's what I do. And I'll get one more. And thank you so much for your patience on me stomping on my Thank you so much, Ian. I appreciate all of your help tonight. You have been awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited. It is late for you, isn't it? What time is it? Yeah, it's after 10 o'clock your time. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to get this little owl done. He's a quick and easy. And then... We will be saying goodnight to this stream, I think. But we will get our little owl first. So see, I think I am going to use his face the same size that it is, but I will expand on the rest of him. This is Shrinky Dinky, Shrinky Dinks. It is the Frosted Rough and Ready. So it is the Sanded Shrinket Plastic. So thank you so much, Ian. I so appreciate that you were here. Now, colors, colors, colors. I think we'll just use the Crayolas again because, you know, the Crayolas work really well. <laughs> thank you so much. Wow, 1120? Oh, yeah, it would be 1120 if you're East Coast. See, I'm in the, I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so it's only 820 in the evening my time. I have to remember that, you know, truthfully, it, it actually works out pretty well for me going about six o'clock because six o'clock is after work here and it's after dinner, you know, nine o'clock on the East Coast and eight o'clock in the Central Time. So, you know, it, it kind of works. It kind of works. We get people who are awake. So let's see. Ooh. I have a, a Lyra Super Furby. I don't know. I think that's a metallic-y, kind of a gold. It is kind of a gold. That's interesting. Let's see. Oh, thank you so much. I think that you guys all rock. Being here and supporting St. Jude's, you guys are so amazing. I just... I'm bubbling inside right now. I just can't hardly stand it. I'm so excited. All right. I'm going to draw him from the glossy side. 
And let's see. I am going to do his eyes nice and big. Very, very similar size. Maybe slightly bigger. Give that nice highlighty bit. I think he's going to get an extra highlight because he's like so excited about life, the universe, and everything. And then, let's see. And then I'm going to, then I'm taking it off. Look at that. Ah, almost dropped it. <laughs> All right, so now I think we've got all of this fun. We can give him extra space around his eye. And then this is the outside of his body. That's his little shoulder on that side. And his little shoulder on this side coming down. And then he's got just those cute little ruffles on his tummy. And some feathers. And he's going to have some extra little feathery bits. Because all of this is him. We're just going to make that, we're going to make it work. Look at that. All right. So how fun is that? Quick and easy. Before I color him, I'm even going to go ahead and punch that hole that is going to be so that as a pendant, he'll be able to hang. And I want that hole sort of in this little V area, I think. Now, colors, colors, colors. Is this going to be a cute pink? Oh, here. I'm going to do the rest of these eyeballs, though. The rest of that eyeball. Go ahead and get his pupil in. He's got those really big, dreamy, dreamy highlights. He's dreaming of all the beauty. You're much more awake at this time of night, Christy. That's, I am, I'm finding that I really am a swing shift artist. My creative juices start flowing at this time. So how's that? That's really cute. Let's see, what colors do we want to do? I don't know that I want to make him actually brown but I do think I want to put some some browns and yellows in his eyeballs and he's not getting any whites in his eyes so let's let's go with maybe a goldy brown color there we go And then a little bit of the, where did the, there it is. <laughs> it's like, where did that Prismacolor go? Prismacolor white in those highlights right now while I'm thinking about it. And I think a little bit of white on his beak. And there might even be some little highlighty bits here and there. It's kind of hard to to see exactly what I'm doing because I'm doing white with a white background behind it. <laughs> he is cute. Thank you so much. He is he is cute. I This is sort of my little go, my little go-to owl. Um let's see. What colors? Do we want to make him sort of fantasy colored and give him he could be a he could we could get those purples and um, the, the, the orchid and the violet 
that I didn't get out when I did the, and then the magenta. I think that's what I'm, how's that? Orchid, violet, and magenta. So we're going to give him this violet as kind of his shadow colors. Up underneath his cute little tummy feathers and his little shoulder caps. Almost like those epaulette, ep epaulettes. Oh, my brain just lost the word. All right. So if you're out there watching and you just came in, we are doing a live stream for St. Jude's. We are raising money for the St. Jude's Children's Hospitals. This is part of the Play Live event all month. And St. Jude's actually raises money all year round. But this particular event is during the month of May. And there's tons of people who are doing live streams to raise money for St. Jude's. It takes $2.4 million a day to keep the lights on. And by raising a few dollars, we help to keep those lights on. I am part of Team Derp Squad. And the team goal so far, the team goal, is a hundred thousand dollars so we are helping to make that team goal and I think that's really cool we are getting it done and that I think is amazing so if you um, are looking for the link down below in the more information box or if you scroll up in the uh, chat you can get to one of Ian's um, spots where he dropped the link for us my link when I put it in for some reason was uh, not going anywhere people were having a hard time with it so uh, Ian's link was working so if you scroll up you can get to Ian's link and you can make a donation but if you can't make make a donation that's fine too because I would ask you to share share this out on the internet share St. Jude's out on the internet share it in your social media thank you I'm really really pleased with these color choices they're working out really well. And I like that I did the kind of goldy browns in the eyes. I think that just sort of sets it off. There we go. This one is going to be a lot quicker. There we are. Give him a little bit of this on his tummy. I love, I love this little guy. Like I said, he's kind of my little go-to owl. My, um, I've been drawing this one for years. If you look through my sketchbooks over time, you'll see this one show up. And now the orchid. See. Wow, the orchid is really close. Ah, there it is. I just needed to press a little bit harder because I wanted it to, to look a little bit different. 
but yeah, um, this little guy shows up in my, in my sketchbooks over the years. Oh my gosh, Kathy, $15. Thank you so much, Kathy. We hit $300 on this stream, guys. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, Catherine, I see you. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate you being here. And Kathy, that, oh my. And Sandy, oh wow. You guys are amazing. This is, I feel very, very fortunate that you guys are here as part of this community, that you are helping the kids. I mean, that's what we're here for. We are helping the kids. And boy, I am getting all teary and I need to focus. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. But like I said, even if you don't have the funds to be able to, to donate, sharing it out on your social media is actually a huge huge help. All right, get his cute little beak in. And we're going to flip it over and see what he's, oh my gosh, look at him. And that's before he's been shrunk. He looks adorable. <laughs> look at that. All right, we're going to shrink him. Let me grab my, <laughs> my snorfly nose. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're going to darken that down just a little bit again. And get ready. He will be a cute, he would be a really cute keychain or a zipper pull. I was thinking zipper pull would be really cute. Or a little um, hanger to put onto a back, you know, a little tag to put onto a backpack. Or for a sweet child as a little necklace. Or a sweet grown up as a necklace. <laughs> so here we go. This one is going to be very quick because he's small. There we go. Gonna start shrinky, shrinky, shrinking. Whoops. Yes, there are so many things you can do with the shrink plastic. So many ideas. You know, making the three-dimensional things like the, uh, like the fish, making flat things. <laughs> it's grabbing onto my stick right now. That's okay. I'm just trying to keep it from, from blowing around too much. Too much. There we go. Sorry, I, this one, because he's smaller, it's, um, it's harder to show. See that? And now I can brighten it back up again. And get it warmed up really, 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 really well. I'm going to go ahead and drop him off. Look at that. Oops. Okay, I need to focus because I'm up higher now because I'm on top of... There it is. Now he's in focus. Look at that. All right. So I'm getting him really hot. I'm just going to really blast him. And yes, cell phone charm. Now he's really hot. I'm just going to take this because it's flat. Ooh, okay. So this apparently has some texture on it, <laughs> but that's okay. He's got some little texture. And how's that? Thank you guys so much for coming. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. 
how the stream turned out, how playing with all of you guys. It's been so much fun. And I think I'm in love with this little guy too. If you're interested, I will go ahead and put the, um, after I get the traceable drawn up, I will put the traceable up on my website and on my Pinterest, and I will link down below in the more information box. I'll also link the different brands of colored pencils that I used, and I hope that you guys, because you've already gone out and done, the, you know, you guys have already done good things for yourself and for other people, but go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you, and I hope to see you back here again really soon. And now I've got to get my... <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I, It's been wonderful having you guys here. And now let's see if I can do this. <laughs>